doing a back area for another video and this is gonna be the first video I'm doing where I'm showing off my entire horror movie collection. I always do videos every year around Halloween showing off my entire horror collection and I was gonna start these videos in October but I thought it would be cool to just go ahead and start doing them now. Um, and I don't know when I'm going to be able to do all these. Um, you know, of course, since I'm working, I don't have as much time to shoot videos during the week. Uh, so I don't know when my next uh, horror collection video uh, will be. But in my next video, I'll be showing off my horror DVDs. And then I'll show off my horror Blu-rays. But right now, I'm going to be showing off my entire horror VHS collection. Now I don't have the biggest horror VHS collection, you know, and I've got a lot of, uh, you know, the classic films. I've got all the Halloween films. I got the Child's Play movies, Not on Elm Street. Um, so I do have a lot of films that you've seen before, but I do have a couple of rare ones and uh, I know you guys will really enjoy it. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. And first I'm going to start off with all the Halloween films that I own on VHS. I'm going to start right here. And first off, we have a uh, media release of Halloween. It's in pretty uh, decent shape. I showed this off in my last update. Then we have uh, the Anchor Bay release from 1997, I believe. Then we have the Restored Collector's Edition with the lenticular cover right there. Then we have the Blockbuster Presents release. Then we have these two very cool Japanese releases right there. Then we have this Good Times release of Halloween 2 and the Universal release of Halloween 2. And then I have two releases of uh, Halloween 3 from Good Times. Uh, one of them is uh, water damaged and this one is in a better condition. And I have this one right here which like I said is water damaged. Then I have the two Anchor Bay clamshells of Halloween 4, The Return of Michael Myers. And Halloween 5, The Revenge of Michael Myers. Then I have the CBS Fox release of Halloween 4. The Anchor Bay release of Halloween 5. Halloween, The Curse of Michael Myers. H2O. And finally, Resurrection. Moving on to my Child's Play shelf. I have this release of Child's Play right here. This is the original release. It is still sealed and it is in near mint condition. And then I have the MGM Movie Time release. And this was the release, uh, this is actually my childhood copy of the film. I saw the movie for the first time on this release and it's in pretty uh, bad shape as you guys can see. But like I said, I've had this tape since I was maybe six years old was the first time I saw this movie. So it's not in great shape. Then I have the uh, Universal Thrillers release of Child's Play 2, Child's Play 3, and the Universal uh, Thrillers release of Bride of Chucky. Moving on to Evil Dead. I've got a couple of releases of Evil Dead. First I have the uh, slipcover release from Anchor Bay with this cover right here. Then I have the Anchor Bay clamshell of Evil Dead. Really nice release. And Evil Dead 2. And I do have other Anchor Bay clamshells, which I will show later at the end of the video when I show off. Uh, I have uh, in, in uh, my own uh, separate section of Anchor Bay clamshells, but of course these are here because this is my Evil Dead shelf, and then I also have a... Uh, a section dedicated to just my Anchor Bay clamshells and my Anchor Bay tapes, uh, which I will show off at the end of this video. But right now we're going to move down to my actual VHS section, which is down right here. Um, as you guys can see, I have all my horror DVDs piled up because my horror DVDs are always in front of my VHSs. But let's go ahead and uh, get down here and get started. So first right here we have this uh, Good Times uh, two-pack collect two-pack uh, VHS set of uh, The End of a Horror and Amityville 2 to Possession. Um, this release is kind of special to me because my aunt, um, she had a lot of horror movies and she introduced me to a lot of horror films and this was the uh, the VHS set that um, I saw The End of a Horror for the first time 
Um, she did have a copy of Am she did have this copy of Amityville 2, the possession separately, and uh, I saw Amityville 2 for the first time with this tape. Um, I don't have this tape, but I would like to get it because I just absolutely love uh, that cover of Annabelle 2. I think it's so creepy. I remember the first time that I saw that tape and I was like, I thought it was so, so creepy. Um, and I do really enjoy both the first two Annabelle films. Uh, Annabelle 2 is one of the creepiest movies that I've ever seen. I do have this release of Annabelle 2 though, and I mostly got it because it does have the classic um, cover right here, which like I said, such a creepy, uh, you know, such a creepy poster. Annabelle 2, The Possession, um, and like I said, one of the creepiest movies I've ever seen. Um, I really enjoyed this one. I enjoy this one just as much, if not more, than the original. Um, like I said, one of the creepiest films. Even today, when I watch it, it's still one of the creepiest films I've ever seen. But I would like to eventually get uh, this release of Eminable 2 because, like I said, that was the release of the film that my aunt had, so it was the release that I first got introduced um, and, and saw the film for the first time. On. Up next, not really horror, more sci-fi horror, but Aliens. I've always liked this. I just like this little image right here, you know, on this black case. You know, just kind of a s simple. Then I have uh, Alice, Sweet Alice. This great cover right here of the baby doll with the knife stuck in and blood. If you survive this, nothing will scare you again. Brooke Shields. Next up, Blair Witch Project. A movie that one of my other um, aunts had and uh, you know I remember I was when I was younger I, I never watched it she never uh she would always tell me it was too scary and I finally did watch it I still think the movie's really creepy and I honestly consider it a classic in my opinion I know some people hate the movie now and some people enjoy it I've always enjoyed it and I do think it's uh I do think it deserves to be considered a classic then we have Book of Shadows Blair Witch 2 I did enjoy it but I do understand why a lot of people don't like it because it's really it's just a crazy, you know, it's just kind of a crazy movie, um, you know, but I, I enjoy it. Then we have Blood Dolls, Full Moon. Up next, Body Bag. I remember when I first got this tape, this was back before Scream Factory re-released the film, and I remember this tape was, you know, it used to be really rare and really sought after. Not so much now, now that Scream Factory released it on Blu-ray, but um, it's still cool to own the tape. Up next we have uh, Critters 3. I really enjoy the Critters films. Um, I know that Scream Factory is putting out a complete Blu-ray collection of the Critters films, which I can't wait to get. And they are also putting out a new Blu-ray of this film, Candyman. Um, again, very, very creepy movie. I really like this artwork. You know, it just got different images. Um, this is the uh, image right here that's on, you know that they, you, you typically see on VHS releases and the poster, just the I with the Candyman standing there and the B. Um, but, you know, I, I've always liked this release because it just has different, you know, images, you know, on the cover right there. It's just a unique release of it. Then we have Chud. This is the media release. Which still has the uh, bottom flap. Carrie. This was a tape that another tape that my aunt had, the same aunt that introduced me to Amityville, the Amityville Horror and Amityville 2. The Dead Don't Die, which is in one of the uh, like blockbuster plastic cases. We have Dartman. Charles Bronson in Death Wish. The Dark Half. Dementia 13, Francis Ford Coppola. We have Arnold Schwarzenegger in End of Days. Hold on one sec. Let me get, I'm trying to readjust myself because I'm, I'm sitting on the floor and it's not comfortable. Then we have this really cool uh, screener copy of Evil Ed, which has a double sided uh, cover, which is pretty cool. I love that art right there. Such a crazy movie. They had these Warner Brothers tapes of The Exorcist. 
and Exorcist 2. Pretty cool. Then we have Friday 13th Part 2 and Friday 13th Part 3. And I just kept those because they have the original artwork. I do own them all on DVD. And of course I have the Blu-ray set as well. Well actually no, I'm, I'm, I actually don't own uh, Friday 13 Part 2 on DVD. And I do plan on picking it up eventually because I just want to complete that. Even though I already own them all on Blu-ray. I still want to. Fire in the Sky, a great alien abduction movie. If you haven't seen this and if you're a fan of alien abduction films or films about UFOs, this is definitely one. Uh, Semi-inspired by a true story, and by that I mean, you know, the person who went through this, you know, he wrote a book about it, and of course this movie is highly exaggerated compared to what is in the book and what the actual story is, but this is a very, very good movie. Fear.com. I only watched it once, I think, and I don't really remember much of it. Then we have Richard Stanley's Hardware. Up next, Honeymoon Whore. Really cool. And Stephen King's It. Uh, and this one has the, uh, you know, the book cover style um, cover on it. Um, I've seen a lot of people with the uh, the white uh, covered as Pennywise sort of cutting through the uh, the top right here and you can see the VHS tape behind him. Um, one thing about uh, this is that it has the additional uh, footage that's not on the Blu-ray release. Uh, for those of you who don't know, there is a, um, at the beginning of part two, there is a little bit of extra footage on the VHS release that's not on the Blu-ray. Then we have uh, In the Mouth of Madness. And a creature feature, Lake Placid, Killer Crocodile film. Really enjoyed this movie. Alright, moving on down. Yeah, let me get down here. Here we go. Leprechaun 2. I really enjoy the Leprechaun movies, or at least the first three. We have Leprechaun 3 as well. They're just fun, cheesy movies. Then we have uh, Tom Savini's remake of Night of Living Dead, which I really enjoy. Then we got the New York Ripper. Naked Vengeance. Then we have the media release of A Nightmare on Elm Street. And the media release of Nightmare on Elm Street 3. And then I have the entire set of Nightmare on Elm Street films when they were uh, remastered with you know, the image of Freddy on the side. I'm not going to pull them out though because, you know, I, I see a lot of people have these so I'm not going to not going to show them all, but they have the new the new artwork that they uh, released with those releases. Of course, I have them all on Blu-ray. Then we have Freddy's Dead, The Final Nightmare. New Nightmare. This is the Special Collector's Edition. I'm not really sure what's really different. I mean, it, it doesn't say that there's any new... there. It doesn't say that there's any special features or anything on it, but... Then we have the MGM Movie Time release of Phantasm. One of my favorite horror films. And one of my favorite sequels right here, Phantasm 2. Phantom of Death. Michael York and Donald Pleasance. Then the MGM movie time release of Pumpkinhead. Pet Cemetery, Classic. Pet Cemetery 2, a sequel that does not get talked about enough. I think it's underrated. Um, it does have a different feel than the original, even though it was directed by the uh, the same director. Um, it does have a bit of a, you know, I think it's because the first film came out in the 80s and uh, the second one came out in the 90s, so I think that's why it has kind of a just a completely different feel, but I still really enjoy it. Then we got Puppet Master 2. And then Curse of the Puppet Master. This is also a uh, screener copy. Oh, these should be in a. There we go. Retro Puppet Master. Poltergeist 3. Rosemary's Baby. Salem's Lot. Again, another 
tape that was pretty sought after before it was re-released on Blu-ray. Shockwaves. Sticks and Stones, which is like a fake documentary about the Blair Witch legend. Stephen King's Storm of the Century. Really enjoy this one. Alright. Next up, Sleepy Hollow, one of my favorite horror films. And then we have Sleepy Hollow High, which really isn't, you know, it's not related to the Tim Burton film. It's more of just a film based on the, uh, you know, the, the legend of Sleepy Hollow. Scarecrow Slayer. I've seen all three of these movies, and I find them all to be, I guess, fun. The first two are, you know, Scarecrow and Scarecrow Slayer are, you know, a lot better than the third film. I think the third one's called Scarecrow Gone Wild, which I thought was pretty ridiculous. Then we have Stepfather 2. Then here's the Terror in the Isle documentary, which I remember when Screen Factory released a Halloween set, people were complaining that it didn't come with this documentary, um, which to be honest, I understand because this documentary really isn't about just Halloween 2. Um, it's about just horror movies in general, um, but it is hosted by Donald Pleasance and Nancy Allen. Then we have the Dark Media Release. Kindred Vesteron, but it's a cut box. Transformations. It's a crazy cover. Then The Good Sons. More of a thriller, but I love this film. Alfred Hitchcock's The Birds. Really like that artwork for it. Then The Terror. Let me move on over a little bit. Really like that one, starring... Boris Karloff. Then I have two releases of The Haunting. I have this release right here, which is one that I remember my aunt having, one of my aunts uh, had, and I remember this cover art really, really creeped me out. Uh, actually, no, it was uh, this one. Oh, sorry, of course, of course it falls over. It was actually this one was the one, this regular release right here. Uh, this is the special limited edition. Um, and it says that this one comes with a, with a behind-the-scenes documentary, but this one does as well, but... Yeah, this is the one right here that um, I remember my aunt having, and I remember being so creeped out by that artwork right there. And the movie, I really, I do enjoy it. Um, the special limited edition has like this green tint to it. And I have The Hunger, David Bowie. The Town That Dreaded Sundown. The Guardian. The Vineyard. Then I have the Warner Brothers release of The Shining. Trancers. Village of the Damned. Waxwork 2. Extra 2. And then I have two copies of Zombie Island Massacre. This one is the media release. And this one is the Troma Collector's Edition. Uh, and as you can see, you know, they both look like different movies. You know, like this one looks kind of like an over, like over-sex movie. You got the girl on there with the, uh, you know, in the bra and everything. And like this one looks more like a straightforward horror film, whereas this one looks like a kind of a cheesy sex, you know... Kind of oversexed horror film, but that's trauma. I haven't seen the movie, so really, I don't know. Um, but, yeah, cool, I got both of those. And right here I got, this is a tape my dad made for me of the first three Pubmaster movies. Then I have a uh, documentary here, World of Death. It's not really an enjoyable documentary to watch. It's basically just about death around the world. And then I have this cheesy uh, Faces of Death. Uh, spin-off or rip-off. Death Faces 4. Um, you know, it's 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 pretty cheesy. Um, I, I thought it was kind of boring, though, after a while, because I actually tried to watch it, and I actually got kind of bored with it. So there's the main shelf. Then I'm going to move on over. Shelf. Anchor Bay. Tapes. Got my clamshells right here. We really have Children of the Corn. Anchor Bay release. Hell Knight right here. And then we have the Midnight Hour, Anchor Bay Clamshell, 
Cronenberg Shivers, Anchor Bay Clam, Dracula Prince of Darkness from the Hammer Collection, sorry about that glare, then Rasputin from the Hammer Collection, this is still sealed, Nosferatu, then I have this uh, rental of Hellbound Hellraiser 2, this is the unrated version, I haven't watched it so I don't know what the difference between this version and the R rated version is. Then Magic, still sealed, it's pretty cool. And another X rental Bride of Reanimator, except this one's not cut, it's just in a plastic rental case. It's the unrated version. And finally we have the Basement Big Box put out by Camp Motion Pictures that comes with uh, the Basement, which is a lost 80s uh, uh, shot on video horror film on VHS, as well as five other films on DVD. See here, it comes with uh, The Basement, uh, Captives, Video Violence, Cannibal Camp, I mean Video Violence 2, and Cannibal Camp Out, which are, you know, films that were, you know, shot on video horror films that were made and released, like, directly to VHS, and Cam Motion Pictures put out this really nice set. And uh, that is it. That is my entire horror VHS collection. I do plan on getting more. Um, I would love to start collecting some uh, big box VHSs, horror VHSs. I've got a couple of big boxes right there, but they're not horror uh, films. So, anyway, guys, thanks for watching. And like I said, I know I don't have the biggest horror VHS collection in the world, and I know a lot of these titles are generic, like mainstream films. Uh, but I do. I'll, but I also know I also have some pretty cool ones in there as well. And you know, I mean, I like collecting um, some mainstream horror films on VHS. You know, it brings me back to the video store days when I first saw those movies for the first time, you know, renting them and watching them on VHS. You know, so they still hold a, a place in my heart. And, um, you know, like I said, I do plan on collecting more uh, horror VHSs. I want to get into collecting uh, big box VHSs. I actually do have one uh, that I recently ordered coming in the mail, which I'll be showing off in my next update. But anyway, guys, thanks for watching. As always, if you guys want to follow me on Facebook and Twitter, I'll leave links down below. And if you guys want to join my movie collecting Facebook group, a link to that will be down below as well. Thanks for watching, and I don't know when I'm going to be posting my complete horror DVD collection video, but when I get a chance to, I will. And then I'll do a video showing off my complete horror Blu-ray collection as well. Anyway, guys, thanks so much for watching, and I hope you guys have a great Monday.